Okay, uh, today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the new Beat uh, DC electronic loads. Uh, we have three models available, and these are all uh, very high power electronic loads. Uh, this model we're looking at here is the 8813, which is capable of 1200 watts, uh, 0 to 360 volts, and up to 60 amps. Now, we have three models available the 8813, the 8812, and the 881. The 881 is a 600 watt load, the 8812 is a 900 watt load, and as I mentioned earlier, this unit here is 1200 watts. Now, every one of them is capable of the whole 360 volts uh, and the whole 60 amps, but the power, the maximum power, of course, is going to be limited depending on which unit you chose. Now, each one of these loads is very capable and useful for testing batteries, for testing power supplies for testing solar arrays and pretty much uh, any type of lab application where a constant and repeatable load is required. So to um, go through a couple of settings of this unit, we first power up, it goes through its initialization and double checks all the circuitry inside and it comes up in the uh, constant current mode setting which is pretty much the most useful of all the applications. So. Um, all the buttons all on the front panel are used to set the different parameters. And as I said, since the uh, constant current mode is the most common, I'll go ahead and go through that one. Now here I have a 6 volt, 12 amp hour lead acid battery, commonly used in uh, emergency lighting systems and uh, sometimes even in some of the little electric powered cars and, and scooters. So it's a, a very common application for this to test the capability of this battery. and. Uh, one of the features of this load is that it does have a battery test option which will pretty much let you uh, test the energy capacity of these batteries to find out first of all what it's capable of doing and also to get a good indication of its uh, lifetime. So to go ahead and set the uh, load that you want to draw from this thing, and again this is a, a very repeatable and precise value of constant load, uh, you go ahead and set the I set button which now gets you a blank screen, so I can now enter in the numbers. Uh, this is a 12 amp hour battery. Normally you want to test these things at a tenth of the maximum rating. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set it just for the heck of it for a, a 2 amp load. So enter in, just like you would any uh, electronic uh, power supply. Hit the enter key, now I'm set up for 2 amps. Uh, notice the unit is off. The a load can be turned on and off very easily with the two front panel buttons. Um, it gives you the parameters of the load, so it tells you the voltage of the battery, which is 6.37, which is pretty good for a 6-volt uh, battery, how much current, which is zero now because the unit is off, and then how many watts is uh, being delivered. So if I turn the unit on, and now notice it comes up in constant current mode, that's what the CC is. Notice the voltage is starting to drop because as we discharge this battery, we're going to go uh, start going below the uh, no load voltage of that battery. Notice the value of the load is very constant at 2 amps and it tells us that we're delivering 11.9 watts out of this battery. Um, one of the other, so I'll go ahead and turn it off again now. I'm trying to save battery life a little bit. Uh, some of the other modes of operation are constant voltage, which is useful for testing solar cells. Uh, constant resistance, uh, if you want to basically use this as a high power resistor without having to uh, bring out a whole bunch of uh, discrete resistors and worry about dissipating the heat and, and uh, all the voltage drops that uh, go along with connecting resistors in parallel and series. Uh, and you also have constant power mode which will maintain the voltage and current uh, characteristics of this unit. I'll go ahead and go through uh, a couple of the other parameter or methods of operation. So we're going to go into the constant resistance mode. Notice I hit the R set button. We now come up with a screen to resist the uh, list the resistance value. Again, it still has the same parameters on the bottom: the voltage, the current, and the uh, power. So now I'm able to go ahead and enter in a different value. So I'll go ahead and program in a. Uh, a value of resistance and just for grins I'll go ahead and program in 10 ohms. 
So now I'm going to start screening to change the 10 ohms. Again, these things haven't changed because I still have the load off. If I now turn the load on, uh, we're now in CR mode, which is constant resistance. Notice that the voltage is now 6.2 volts. The current is 0.622, which is um, the calculation uh, using Ohm's law of the uh, voltage divided by the resistance. And it does tell me the, the power. Now, of course, in constant resistance mode, the current is going to vary as the battery voltage drops to um, compensate for the fact that the, the battery voltage is going to drop as we go along because the load now is constant. We're not maintaining a constant current. Okay, so to uh, set up the battery test, uh, I go into the main menu, then I scroll down to battery test, hit enter. Here I can set my discharge current. So again, as I mentioned earlier, I want to set it for a tenth of the uh, maximum rating. It's a 12 amp hour battery, so I'm going to set it to 1.2 amps. So, 1.2 amps. Um, once I've set, I'm going to get out of this menu now. And now I can go ahead and turn the load on. And we're now drawing our 1.2 amps. Our battery voltage is 6.1, uh, of course it's dropping. Now again, if I let it sit there um, till it reaches the minimum voltage, it will shut off and it'll tell me what the amp hour rating is. But if I ever want to check it during the test, I just hit the enter key and it tells me, okay, I've gone through 19 seconds and so far my amp hour rating of battery is 0 .007 amp hours. So again, it'll leave it on the screen here for a couple of seconds. So I can test, I can keep an eye on this uh, capacity of this battery all the way through the test. So a very useful feature, um, pretty much uh, one of the main uses of a load like this and with the uh, 1200 watt capability, it'll pretty much test uh, any kind of uh, commercially available battery that's out there without having to have a bank of resistors and knowing that your uh, parameters are very precise, very regulated. So that uh, just gives you one uh, use for this. Um, DC electronic load, again, as I mentioned, you can test power supplies. Uh, it is capable of doing transient testing, so we can set it up to pulse uh, at a higher current for a short amount of time, and we can see if the battery is capable of uh, sustaining that load or the power supply. A lot of times we have a power supply that is capable of delivering a maximum load, but it may have trouble if you turn it on at full load, so a lot of times you may want to be able to test this in a transient situation. This does have the ability to set to test um, in a transient mode and allows you to set the width of the uh, pulse and also how high of a current that uh, you want to uh, spike it up to, up to the maximum radius of the unit. So thank you for um, your time here and be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for more videos and more instructions on some of the uh, exciting test equipment that we're bringing in here at Circuit Specialist.